Good morning, everyone. It's Ravekel. We are playing some more Zelda 2, making questionable decisions. Uh, last time, we went through part of the first level, and then I realized I was screwing up my experience route that I'd planned. So I went back and did a little bit of a grind, did a few side quests, got a magic jar, and we got the jump spell. And now we're going to head back to the first level to finish it off. With three attack, we'll be able to do pretty well on it. And it'll, more importantly, give us a bunch of free XP when we beat the boss. So, I am gonna go out of my way, even though I already have the key, I'm gonna go out of my way to fight a couple enemies, because I do need to get a hundred experience before I get to the boss. I'm going to avoid the rooms with pits and the bridge, because bots are annoying. That's what these guys are called, by the way. Oh, also, real quick, before I get any further, because I forgot to do this last time, I'm gonna put a- or I put a note in, so you've already seen it. Um... We're gonna- is there an actual- nope, that's not a pause. Okay. We'll just ins- alright, we'll just go ahead and, and do it. Um... I forgot to say last time that the death animation in this game does have a flashing light warning on modern uh, systems. So if you are sensitive to flashing lights um, and you hear my health beeping, or if you are not comfortable watching the video, um, I totally understand. Take care of you. I will try to remember to do that at the beginning of each video going forward, or put a little warning on it for videos that I don't. So, uh, actually, one of the things that I didn't really go into last time, that I would like to go into this time, is how I'm fighting some of these enemies. So, specifically the skeletons and the dark nuts. So, skeletons hold their shields at uh, face level. So if you keep hitting them like this, you'll just be a stalemate. So the way that you want to fight them is kind of sliding in next to them. That's what we need. Refill our health. So for Dark Nuts, uh, they, they track based on your movement. Um, so yeah, that'll be fine. Yep. Sure, now I get all the point bags. After I go do a grind, now I'm wasting a bunch of what I was going to get. So, Dark Nuts, you kind of just do a short hop like this. Oh, come on. I got through every single one of these guys on the first uh, video without getting hit. Now I'm almost dying to one. So, uh, I think I found part of my problem. 
with my experience route from last time. I probably would have been fine going through this. I forgot this hallway was here, and that it was gonna give me like another couple hundred experience. That's okay. So this is Horsehead. And that was me dying to Horsehead. Luckily, that does refill your magic as well. There we go. Just had to get the rhythm. So, bosses drop a key. He lets you get the crystal. And the crystal will automatically take you to whatever your next level up is. So the actual intended route that I was going to take was to get to this at exactly 150 experience, so you'd get 850 out of it when you beat the boss, when you turn the crystal in. Obviously that didn't happen. But that actually gives us a lot more flexibility for the next section. I mean, I guess it should still be okay. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to try and worry less about it. I'm curious if the point bags come back. I don't think they do. They don't. established that me playing this game is me making questionable decisions. Okay, I'm gonna take a real quick peek here. Okay. Checking my notes. So, the next temple isn't going to be for a little while. Hey, I've still got it. The reason I was checking that is because I wanted to make sure that I could take some of these levels as they come. So you need the jump spell to get past this point. Thank <laughs> you. 
so 423 is our intended end point for this next section. Oh. That was not correct. So we need to go to a specific point in the forest. We're going to, or normally when you're playing this game, you would learn about it in the next town, but I don't want to cross the bridge multiple times. So we're going to go right here. And we're going to meet. Bagu is my name. Show my note to the river man. Um, this is going to give us passage where we would not have had it otherwise. Which is pretty cool. That fish just jumped up and hit me in the face when I was right at the end. What a jerk. I felt like I was doing relatively well before that. There we go. Eyes of Ganon are everywhere. Water Town of Saria. Once again, all of these have the same names as the Sages from Ocarina of Time. Chronologically, this game is like in the far-flung future where those are characters are legends. I know I'm going to need to come back to there, but I want to actually do the quests in order this time. Stop and rest here. That she's gonna give me magic, which I don't really care about. Z Z Z. You know Baku? Then I can help. You cross. So, if apparently knowing Bagu is all it takes to get across the bridge, and everyone who doesn't know Bagu is just stuck. Wait, is this the edge of town? It is. Uh, we were supposed to get something. I apparently missed one of the houses or something. Oh, we can't skip this text, can we? Oh no, I accidentally did it again because I was trying to mash. This is the worst. <laughs> Please let me help you. Okay, nope, that's not what we're looking for. Sorry, I know nothing. Thanks. Hello. Sorry, I know nothing. Oh. Eyes of Ganon are everywhere. <laughs> Some of the townsfolk are just randomly bats. Yep. Okay. I found a mirror under the table. Uh, fun trivia. While that is technically a mistranslation, it is the only instance... Oh, you found my mirror. There we go. Uh, it is the only inst uh, can instance of Link talking in a canonical Zelda game. Kind of a weird thing. Uh, in the Japanese version, it says you found a mirror, but in the English version, it says I found a mirror, 
which implies that Link was narrating it to himself. And that leads us to Death Mountain. <laughs> so, Death Mountain in this one is a total maze. Um, the basic best way to do this is to head east. Uh, there's a slight variation of that in one point, but that's only because there isn't an east. <laughs> yeah, basically, just keep going east and you'll get it there eventually. Um, four, two, three is what I want, I believe. Yes. I'm a little nervous about taking this because that means that I need to get to the end of the next palace on my next life. <laughs> or it means I need to get a bunch of experience. Which, if I end up needing to do a little extra grind, I will, but whatever. I'm gonna grab, or I'm gonna burn a heal. Once again, go east. Uh, the blue bats are just bats. The red bats turn into weird demon things. Ignore the elevator, just keep going east. Uh, those guys you can't block with your shield. Once again, go east. <laughs> Another bridge full of fish. This time they're jumping out of the lava. East. He's sensing a theme. one where you don't go east, and that's because there is only one path and it's not east. This is my last life. I would really like to get through this and at least get the item at the end of Death Mountain. If I need to regrind the experience after that, that's Totally doable. So this is the last one, I believe. Um. Mm. If I die right now, I lose the experience that I haven't spent. But there's 
there's no way I'm getting back. It means I'm gonna need to adjust the rest of it going forward. Yeah, let's just do it. This was a good call. Okay. That is a long walk. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to where I was. And I'll let you rejoin me there. <laughs> okay. Back to the corridor of alligators with mohawks. I am really curious. So, I accidentally, in the course of making that decision to take that level last time may have caused a lot more trouble for myself than it was worth, but we may end up getting way ahead of where we were as well, so I guess we'll just try it. <laughs> So this hole in the ground leads to... Oh my god. Leads to the next item we need. I strongly considered pushing through to just try and, like, uh, damage boost off the screen there. Don't mess with that guy. Let him pass. big this place was. So this is looking even more promising. Until we saw that. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay. We got the hammer. <laughs> That's all that matters. At this point, even if we take another death, even if we end up not making it out of this, uh, we do need the magic jar from this area. But if I end up not able to make it out here, I end up- oh, I've still got two lives left. How did that happen? 
Not sure. I'm pretty sure this is the way out. Daria's not back, so I think we're good there. Magic Hammer will at least make the... moving around on the overworld easier. So, we smash this rock, that's what the hammer lets us do, is smash rocks on the overworld. This is a, another magic jar, so that's gonna up our magic. I don't think I actually mentioned that, so the magic stat makes your spells cost less. The life stat is basically defense, it means you take less damage per hit. But the heart containers and magic jars we've picked up are what actually increases the number of cells you've got there. Unfortunately, we're at a really awkward spot XP-wise. That was a hole. I just jumped in. And apparently that was actually our last life and I was wrong, which means that we just lost 1500 experience. <laughs> but we got the hammer and the magic jar. And honestly, that's the part I care about. We're going to get that experience back um, when we get the crystal. We're actually, we were actually getting a little ahead of where I was intending to be on our route. So the fact that I am back where I, it's kind of weird because every time I've messed up on my experience route, I've ended up back where I was intending to be anyway, or close. Technically, I'm a little ahead but I screwed it up, so now I actually need to get more in order to get the fifth attack. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to end up taking the break or taking our break here. And next time we're going to go get a bunch of stuff and get uh, do a bunch of side quests, get a couple more spells and another heart container. And we'll... Yeah, continue our exploration. Hope you still enjoy. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.